Bayern Munich has reportedly started opening negotiations with successful former Real Madrid coach Zinedine Zidane. Zidane's name is predicted to be the ideal figure to continue Tuchel's coaching battle. He also recently stated that he is very eager to return to the bench soon. Chelsea made a 60 million euros bid for the Brazilian wonder kid. As reported by Goal, according to journalist Jorge Nicola, Chelsea are interested in recruiting Estivao and have reportedly submitted a bid worth a total of 60 million euros for the Brazilian wonder kit. The deal carries a fee of 14 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-ons. Xavi Hernandez has confirmed that he will leave Barcelona in the summer, and a report from Hits claims that the blog runner want Unai Emery to replace him. While the opportunity to coach Barcelona is tempting enough for any manager, he has an interesting project at Aston Villa, and leaving them may not be an option for him at the moment. Meanwhile, the villains are confident they can defend him. Manchester United are reportedly in the hunt to sign Sir Hoguirassi. The 28-year-old was heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford during the January transfer window following a stunning campaign in the Bundesliga. The forward has scored 27 goals this season and according to Sport Build, United are ready to pounce on him in the summer. Harry Redknapp likened striker Alexander Isak to Arsenal legend Thierry Henry after his world-class performance against Tottenham Hotspur. Juventus doesn't need a midfielder like Jorginho. Jorginho Frello's contract with Arsenal will officially end. So far, Arsenal management has not given any indication whether they will extend his contract. This situation has also given rise to speculation that the player will return to Serie A this summer. Incidentally, Juventus and Fiorentina are said to be clubs that want to use his services. However, reports immediately emerged saying that Massimiliano Allegri's team actually did not need Jorginho Frello's services. Inter Milan will reportedly hold contract extension talks with Nerazzurri wing-back Denzel Dumfries at the end of April. Currently, Denzel Dumfries is still under contract with Inter Milan until the end of June 2025. Atletico Madrid is reportedly ready to compete with the three Serie A giants, Inter Milan, AC Milan and Juventus in the hunt for the services of Torino star defender Alessandro Buongiorno. Diego Simeon's team wants to strengthen their defence this summer after a fairly disappointing performance this season. Former Juventus coach Fabio Capello gave advice to the old lady to recruit at least four quality players to compete with Inter next season. They are Mason Greenwood, Tune Coop Miners, Kinan Yildiz, Ferguson from Bologna. Mauricio Pochettino criticised his Chelsea players' attitude despite win over Everton. They were awarded a penalty after Noni Madjuic was brought down in the match at Stamford Bridge. Madjuic and Jackson then fought for the ball as the referee waited for VAR confirmation and regular penalty taker Palmer stood confused beside them. Eventually captain Kona Gallagher had to step in to push the two players away, take the ball and pass it to Palmer. Pochettino was embarrassed by what the Chelsea players did in that situation and apologised. Mauricio Pochettino told reporters, the players knew that it was Palmer who took it. I'm very, very disappointed with this situation for the images we sent to every country watching. I want to apologize. You can't behave like this and have to talk about it after the game. It's unbelievable. It's a shame. The players have to show they're hungry to score, but not in situations like this. I won't accept this anymore. I promise I'll deal with it that matter. Greenwood was finally noticed by a number of top European clubs, one of which was Juventus. Juve wants to add to their banging style. Massimiliano Allegri is said to be very impressed with Greenwood's performance. However, it will not be easy for Juve to bring in Greenwood. This is because Manchester United reportedly priced him at 14 million euros. Real Madrid opens opportunity to release Odegula. A sensational report has emerged that Real Madrid could cash in on young midfielder Odegula this summer if the situation does not change. Zinchenko and Kiwi are not convinced. Arsenal wants to bring in a new left-back. 
the performance of these two players was not convincing. In particular Zinchenko, who was led into the game against Villa because he was away from his position on the left side of the defence when Leon Bailey scored. With this deficiency on the left side of the defence, according to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal will look for a new left back in the 2024 summer transfer market. Bellingham shares his experience of a career outside England. Bellingham believes that this will actually have a good impact on his career as a professional footballer. He said, I'm so grateful. Every time I wear this badge on my chest, it is an amazing feeling and I will never get bored. I played at Dortmund for four years. It's not normal for English players to play abroad, but you learn a lot and I can use this experience for myself in the national team. Maybe I won't have much of a chance. A big thank you to my parents. Playing abroad is a good idea for young British players. I hope I can prove it. Bo Russia Dortmund will face PSG in the Champions League semi-finals after beating Atletico Madrid in a tense match. Dortmund will now meet the French team again after the two teams met in the group stage. Barcelona's progress stopped in the quarterfinals. Barcelona was eliminated by PSG with a goal aggregate of 4-6. What hurts Barcelona is that their two former teammates, Luis Enrique and Ausmane Dembélé, had a big role in bringing PSG to the semi-finals. Dembélé became man of the match and Enrique, who once won the treble winner with Barcelona, failed his former club to qualify for the semi-finals. Nikola Teta believes that beating Bayern Munich and reaching the semi-finals of the Champions League will have a significant impact on Arsenal. Arteta believes his team can write their story differently, and the second leg will be a tight affair after last week's draw at the Emirates Stadium. Mbappe was the star in this match thanks to his two goals. Then, Vitinha succeeded in increasing PSG's lead with a hard kick and Ausmane Dembélé ensured a 6-4 aggregate win with his goal. Meanwhile, Barca was only able to respond through Rafinha. Said Mbappe after the match, I have a dream to win the Champions League for Paris. I've been proud to be at PSG since day one. Not because there were good times and bad times, the pride of playing for this club, representing the capital club of my country, was something special for me growing up there. To experience a night like this, as a Parisian, it's incredible. We still have one more step before reaching the final at Wembley, so we have to stay calm. We beat a great team tonight, but even if we lose, I will still be proud to be a Parisian. Now it's certain that on nights like this, that pride is even greater. We're very happy. We beat the team we wanted to beat and got closer to the final. This is for the fans who came here to support us and those at home. It was a proud night.